The Nora cold welding system is required for inside and outside corners, where specified, and for sanitary base. After installation with wet adhesives, wait a minimum of 12 hours before cold welding. You can cold weld immediately if using Nora Dry Fix 750 tape or Nora NTX flooring. First, use clear tape, centered with the seam, to completely cover the seam that requires welding. This prevents the cold weld from bonding outside of the seam. Then, use a rubber hand roller to firmly press the tape down and ensure a good bond. Groove the seams with a mechanical joint cutter or hand grooving tool, ensuring all grooves are clean. The depth of the groove must be a minimum of 1.5 millimeters with a width of about 2.5 millimeters. For acoustic flooring, groove to slightly expose the backing. For vertical seams, use a flexible material as a straight edge to trim or groove the seam or sanitary base back, again at a width of about 2.5 millimeters, and apply painter's tape to the side of the seams. To begin cold welding, cut the cone tip off the tube above the threads. Squeeze out a small amount of cold weld. Screw on the nozzle and put the cold weld tube into a cartridge gun. Nora recommends wearing nitrile gloves when handling Nora cold weld. Inject the Nora cold weld into the groove without gaps until a small bulb develops above the seam about the size of a heat weld rod. At the end of the seam, release the gun to prevent leaks. You must remove any Nora cold weld tracked or spilled on the flooring using 70% isopropyl alcohol and a clean cloth because cleaning at a later stage may not be possible. Next, press the Nora cold weld into the seam using the flat side of the Nora smoothing spatula held nearly flat at about a 20 degree angle so the surface is flush and on the same plane as the surface of the floor. You must press excess cold weld away on each side of the seam. It's important to develop a slight gap between the excess weld and the weld within the seam for easy removal once cured. For inside corners, clean the surface with 70% isopropyl alcohol and let dry. Protect the cap with painter's tape. Carefully apply the cold weld to the corner, but do not over apply the cold weld. Then use the rounded end of the Nora smoothing spatula to remove the excess cold weld and create a rounded joint. Spray 70% isopropyl alcohol onto the cold weld and finish the weld by lightly smoothing with your finger to a smooth, rounded, acceptable finish. For outside corners with a boot, begin by grooving the seams. Use painter's tape to protect the perimeter. Then apply the cold weld and shape to a square corner by removing the excess cold weld. Next, pull the cold weld to the side using the flat end of the spatula or a suitable putty knife. Wait for about 10 minutes for the weld to skin over. Remove the tape. Then spray 70% isopropyl alcohol onto the outside corner cold weld and finish the weld by lightly smoothing with your finger to a smooth, rounded, acceptable finish. For all Nora cold welded seams, you can peel the tape off immediately or after about three to eight hours, depending on its thickness, ambient temperature, and humidity. Prevent any traffic on the seams until the Nora cold weld has cured for about eight hours.